An actor's job is to memorize lines, sometimes to improvise, to entertain, and to live truthfully in imaginary circumstances. That is an actor's job, especially that last one. If you can behave truthfully in imaginary circumstances, you can be an actor, but it is easier said than done. I will say that. An actor's job is not to tell us whom to vote for. And I made this point in a longer video a couple days ago, but I really want to hammer it home because it's near and dear to my heart. Um, it hurts me every time I see one of these actors on social media just spouting nonsense. Because for an actor to tell us whom to vote for, or even just to encourage us to vote a certain way, that is so antithetical to everything that an actor embodies. It's so antithetical to the entire craft of acting. Because an actor, more so than any other artist, more so even than a musician, an actor seeks to appeal to as wide an audience as possible, to the masses, to have mass appeal. And not necessarily for fame or fortune or celebrity, but because an actor is a storyteller. And stories are for everyone. The good stories are. The, the best stories speak to the human experience. And they touch you, they move you, regardless of era or time or circumstance or demographic or region. That's what the best stories do. And actors are the avenue through which we get the best stories. It has been that way since the beginning of acting and even really since the beginning of oral storytelling. In order to tell an engaging, moving story, you do have to have a bit of an actor in you, a bit of that performance in you to bring people into that world. And so because stories are for everyone, and that is what actors give us, stories, which are immense, immensely powerful, an actor seeks to appeal to as many people as possible, to be able to portray as many characters as possible in as diverse an array of TV, film, and media as possible. That is what an actor does. An actor, a good actor, is far from niche. You know, whereas a musician, even the world famous ones, they're making a certain type of music and that's only going to uh, appeal to a certain demographic, maybe, maybe a lot of people, but it's still just a certain type of people like that certain type of music generally. An actor can appeal to everyone, can make all sorts of different stories, all sorts of different characters, all sorts of different movies, all sorts of different TV, the best actors. And so for an actor to cheapen the craft, to cheapen the role of an actor by telling us who to vote for or choosing a side or telling us that he thinks fully half the nation is a threat to democracy, it does. It, it cheapens the art of acting. It, it makes his job harder, and it also makes the audience's job harder to go along with him, to hear his stories and relate to them. Another thing that is unique about actors is that, unlike any other artist, their tool to create their art is their entire person. Their body, their voice, their face, their presence, all of that is what an actor uses to create stories, to create his art. And so when we start to associate that actor with, oh, he votes this way, or oh, he thinks that half the nation is a threat to democracy, or whatever it is, that cheapens his ability to create his art. It denigrates his ability to create his art, because now he's not as transformative. Now he's not transforming himself or the audience because we know him too much. We know too much about him, and he's made himself more of an advocate, more of a celebrity, than an actor, than a true artist. And this is not me saying you can't make money being an artist. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying what I see nowadays is too much of putting the celebrity above the art. I think that you should put your craft above any type of celebrity. Which means you're not here to be an activist. You're not here to advocate for something. You're not here to be involved politically and tell us who to vote for. That's not what you're here for. You are here to tell stories for everyone. And a good actor, a wise actor, would actually understand that his greatest avenue for affecting change, for changing hearts and minds, is the telling of good stories, is his ability to create great and great engaging stories and great memorable characters. That's how a good actor knows to change the world, not to get on Twitter and to run his mouth. That's not going to change anyone's heart or mind. And this is so close to my heart because I used to be an actor. I no longer pursue it professionally, but I still love it. I still love acting. I still love actors. I still love the craft. I love plays and theater and movies and TV. 
And it saddens me to see so many actors behaving irresponsibly because storytelling really is one of the most powerful forces in the world. It does have the power to shape the way people view the world. And for an actor to say, oh, no, but I'm only for half the nation. It's just, it's not what actors should be doing. It's not what good actors do. It's not what great actors do.